right, it's uh, Wednesday, January 27th, uh, probably in the 40s. Just left the shelter and uh, got about a 10 mile day ahead of me. I'm at uh, mile 181 ish and uh, cruising along. Oh, what happened last night? Slept like a baby. Uh, shared the shelter with a really cool, uh, really cool dude. We uh, fraternized for a while and then uh, conked out probably seven. It's like really late for me. <laughs> and uh, got out this morning. It wasn't raining. Thank God. Uh, it is supposed to. I think it's supposed to snow later today or tonight. So. Yay! All right, it's good news. Uh, let me see. So I, I came outside in the morning to do my morning constitution, and probably a 15 mile an hour crosswind, which complicated matters. Uh, as soon as I took my toilet paper out of a plastic bag and put the plastic bag down, that blew away, and my toilet paper was like a two foot uh, flag flapping around. <laughs> so like trying to straighten that whole situation out now I got a whole peanut butter sandwich going on down there but we're all squared away now cleaned up <laughs> what a debacle though uh, hoping to get I think three viewpoints today we'll see if the weather cooperates but that'd be cool I'm uh, I'm kind of needing a good view right now I didn't get any I didn't get much yesterday so We'll see how today progresses. This is the Spence Field Shelter. So we're about three miles into our hike today. Pretty much the exact same layout as the shelter I was in last night, except there's no tarp up. Love the fireplaces. That is so cool. Little bench in front of it. Ah, oh, God, that's great. Uh, let's see what we got here. I didn't really uh, need to stop at the shelter. We're not going to be sleeping here. Um, I just have to get water because it's a dry spell till the next shelter. And it looks like uh, looks like the water source is 0.1 miles to my right. And oops. This shelter has a privy. I wonder why the other one didn't. Yeah, cool. Okay, get some water and move on. We are on top of Rocky Top Mountain. I think if you look way over there, I think that's uh, Lake Fontana. That's where we came from yesterday. A really spectacular view. I'm not positive, but I think that might be Cades Cove. If you've ever driven through uh, Smoky Mountain National Park, that's a really cool area to visit. There's like um, all kinds of wildlife there, including elk. I'm going to pan around here. All right. And if you look at that mountain centered in the distance, I believe that's Klingman's Dome. I'm not sure again, but I'm pretty sure that that little dot structure on the top I see is uh, Klingman's Dome. And these mountains are great. They're also kind of smoky. Like a five minute jaunt 
and I think I made it to the top of Thunderhead Mountain. More spectacular views. And evidently this is where they also make uh, Angry Orchard apple cider. Because every single tree up here looks like the tree on the box. Trail down off of uh, Thunderhead Mountain. It's been very rocky and rutted. Muddy. Good news is you're definitely not like gonna get lost by wandering off the trail. I mean this thing's like it's almost like World War One trench warfare stuff. So the trail is a stream at this point. And frankly, uh I'm surprised it took this long for it to happen. Uh, um and honestly, um this is kind of very representative of my uh, my prior experience in the Smokies. I guess it doesn't matter what time of the year you come up here. Um, just the, the weather in this section of the mountains is it's wet. It's very wet, man. And, and uh, I always remember the Smokies being kind of muddy. Anyway, let's keep going. All right. There's my old friend. Almost forgot it was winter around here. <laughs> So, a rough uh, uphill back there, and I decided to listen to some music to kind of take my mind off things or motivate me a little bit. Carly Simon came on. Her song is, You're So Vain, You Probably Think This Song Is About You. It is about him, Carly. I don't get it. <laughs> okay, it's like... Uh, Two o'clock, and we're pulling into the Derrick Knob Shelter, which sets at almost 5,000 feet. So I did a lot of uphill today, a lot of altitude gain, or, and I'm kind of hoping that uh, I got it all out of the way. It's all just downhill from here in the Smokies, <laughs> and. Uh, Surprise, this shelter looks pretty much exactly the same as the other shelters. It is. I feel like I'm hiking in circles. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've hiked the Smokies before, but I forgot that about the shelters and, and, uh, the elevation gains, man. I guess it's kind of akin to like uh, women giving birth, you know? Like God takes away the painful memories and only leaves you with the beautiful ones. <laughs> so, yeah. Let me uh, do my man chores. And uh, I'll tell you what, man. Today, even though it was only like a 10 mile day, it was every bit as hard as uh, the last two 15.5s. It was just a lot of uphill, so I'm going to just take a load off and let my body recover. Woo! I was just checking the map and then comparing that to my food, and I definitely panic bought food. So, like, I have one, two, three full days of food, and then this is dinner tonight, but there's no way I'm going to eat all this, so I'm probably going to have left over here. And I'm going to be... Uh, I got a full day of hiking tomorrow and then a half day to Newfound Gap the, f the following day. So I have basically three and a half days worth of food for one and a half days worth of hiking. Uh, way overdid it. But you know, um, there's a storm coming in tonight. They're saying uh, could be a lot of snow. So, I, you know, that's exactly why I did what I did. So hopefully I don't need it. But man, I think I really did some overkill. Maybe like one or two extra meals would have been all right, but this is 
probably 10 pounds of food right here.